I'm Justin Pritchard. In this video, we are going to examine some of the key differences between two high-performing three-row crossovers, the Dodge Durango RT Tow and Go and the Ford Explorer ST. Uh, but before we begin, I've created a dramatic opening sequence that I hope you'll enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so two high-performing three-row crossovers around $60,000 and both with fairly strong towing ratings. And the Durango RT Tow and & Go and Ford Explorer ST are similar in a lot of ways, but also very different in a lot of ways, and that's what I want to focus on for the rest of this video. So the Tow & Go package is a $5,500 option that shoppers can add to the Durango RT all-wheel drive, and that creates a performance-enhanced version of the Durango with Hemi power, upgraded looks, and a massive towing capacity. Handling and braking performance are improved, aerodynamics and looks are improved, and in all the Durango RT Tow & Go is a competent performer with entertaining dynamics and an unbeatable towing capacity. If you're a driving enthusiast with a heavy trailer, there's no need to look much further than this. And the Ford Explorer ST, priced from the high 50s, this gives you the highest performing Explorer variant, complete with several upgrades and tweaks that really draw out the handling feel and responsive performance promised by the ST batch. After 1500 kilometers driving this machine, I was the most impressed with its handling and its overall driving feel. This is an authentically sporty machine that's easy to live with every day of the year. You get a slick, high-tech twin-turbo engine, a sports-tuned suspension and steering system, and enthusiast drivers are really going to appreciate, I think, the attention to detail around the overall feel of this machine on the road. So let's compare the power and the acceleration here first. The Durango RT Tow & Go gets a 5.7 liter Hemi V8, that's 360 horsepower, 390 pounds of torque, and that's good for zero to 60 in 6.3 seconds or so. The Explorer ST gets a smaller three liter EcoBoost V6 with twin turbo, and that's good for 400 horsepower and 415 pounds of torque. And that's good for 0 to 60 in a little over 5 seconds, which is to say a full second or so quicker than the Durango RT. Between the two, the Durango is the far more assertive machine, complete with a custom-tuned SRT exhaust kit that makes sure everyone within a half mile can hear that signature V8 soundtrack. The Explorer ST's engine puts more power and torque more easily within reach of its driver more of the time, and on sound effects, the tastefully restrained howl is satisfying but not overboard. Both machines are quick, but the Explorer ST feels more responsive to throttle inputs in more situations, with a significant power advantage and a power curve that's more easily accessible even at very low revs. It's worth noting here that one of my biggest complaints of the Durango RT was the brake pedal feel. Now the brakes are powerful and perform well, but the brake pedal requires a lot of input from your leg. On the other hand, the Ford Explorer ST's brake pedal feel is one of the best things about how it drives, at least relative to an enthusiast driver. And specifically that's because they have a more precise hair trigger feel and do much more stopping with much less input from the driver's leg. That is like hair trigger, hair trigger brakes. So it's like the steering and the handling and just goes to prove with the ST badge, it's engineered to give you an immediate response to whatever you want to do. I don't usually see brakes respond that quickly and trip the ABS that early in the stroke of the pedal. It's a hair trigger feel and it's really good for confidence, I think. Now, if we look at towing and fuel mileage, we'll see two other differences here. For driving enthusiasts with heavy stuff to tow and haul, the Durango RT Tow & Go is pretty much in a league of its own. Standard Durango RT all-wheel drive models can tow 7,400 pounds, but the Tow & Go bumps that figure to an unbeatable 8,700 pounds. 
The Ford Explorer ST, it can tow 5,600 pounds, and that should prove sufficient for many families, though with a 3,100 pound advantage in the RT Tow & Go, owners get plenty more towing capacity to grow into over time, and a vehicle that won't be maxed out as easily by larger and heavier trailers. According to Natural Resources Canada information, the Durango RT all-wheel drive uses 16.7 litres of gas for every 100 kilometres that you drive in the city, and drinks 10.9 litres of gas for every 100 kilometres that you drive on the highway. On average, this machine will drink about 14.1 litres for every 100 kilometres you drive. The Explorer ST uses 13.4 litres for every 100 kilometres you drive in this city, or about 3.3 litres less per 100 clicks than the Durango. On the highway, it's 9.8, or a little over a 1 litre per 100 kilometre advantage versus the Dodge. Combined, the Explorer ST does about 11.8 litres per 100 kilometres, or on average about 2.3 litres less fuel for every 100 kilometres you drive versus the Durango. Now, your results will vary depending on a multitude of factors including where and how you drive, and how well you care for your Durango or Explorer over time. But on average, the Durango will drink about $600 more fuel per year than the Explorer in exchange for its much higher towing capacity. However, between these two machines, if speed and performance are more important than towing capacity, the Explorer ST might just be the way to go. So hopefully that information helps you make a better purchase decision if you've recently bought one of these machines or if you're considering one or both of them. Let your fellow drivers know down in the comments section below and I always love hearing from recent buyers on what ultimately made their purchase decision. I'm Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca and until next time, take care and drive safe.